welcome back to CJ Explores. We are Charlotte and Corey, and in this vlog, we're exploring the city of Zurich. Now, it's our first time in Switzerland. We don't know what to expect, so come with us as we share our thoughts. Okay, so we're getting a bit hungry, so it's time to go and find some brunch. I found a place called Beat Nut. We actually went past it yesterday when we arrived into Zurich. And I thought that looks cool, and it came up on places that are recommended when I was looking for somewhere that sells plant-based food. Uh, we'll see. The prices looked okay. I had a quick look at the menu and they looked fairly average prices, I guess for European cities. But who knows? Maybe we'll be surprised. Uh, let's go and find out. Gone for a banana bread and Corey has gone for a total scrambled bagel with a side salad, which actually was an option I wanted to have too, so I'm hoping he'll let me try. I made this mistake twice now, it happened to me in Paris. I see banana bread vegan and I get so excited because I think of like banana bread that I'm used to in Australia, but it's not, it's just bread with banana with some chocolate sauce. It was nice, it was fine, but it was not like toasted, warm, melty, proper banana bread yumminess. It was just like a cold bread, nice bread, but with uh, bananas on top. <sighs> I did it again. I got too excited when I saw it. So not again, Europe. Australia is still elite for banana bread. <laughs> but Corey's was very nice. His vegan bagel was yummy. It actually tasted quite fishy. I'm not sure what was in there. Maybe the capers, something this? Uh, but yeah, it was actually very yummy. But we've finished our food and we've been waiting at least 15 minutes. And we still not got our coffee and smoothie. Good coffee? That's all right, yeah. We had to wait a long time for it. Um, yeah, 25 minutes maybe? Yeah, and we found out that you have to book a table if you want to come here. They were not impressed that we hadn't booked a table on a Sunday, so we got put outside um, on a free table. But yeah, you can book on the website. Be nut. Well, first impressions of Switzerland are so-so, to be honest. There's not a lot going on in town. It's very, very quiet. Um, we're not really feeling too inspired, actually, to, to film a whole bunch because we haven't seen anything super interesting yet. Um, aside from that, the people at Beatnut were a little bit short and sharp with us. We got told off for sitting down in the wrong place. We also got told off for filming in the restaurant, <laughs> even though we were just filming, like, the greenery and stuff in there. Um, and also, we had to wait about 40 minutes for our coffees. So, not a great first start, but we are gonna crack on and see what else we can find. Hopefully, our time in Zurich gets better. They look quite pretty down there. Okay, we've made it to the old town now. This is District 1 in Zurich, uh, and it is more... Oh, here, Charlotte's found something cute. I think it's a ladder for a pussycat. <sighs> a pussycat ladder, very nice. Okay, this place is turning around slowly. Um, we have some cobbled streets, so we're feeling very European again. Um, little alleyways, or as they're called here, Gassas. Gassas in German are small Strasses streets, okay? Just so you know, when you see a Gasse, it's an alleyway. But yeah, this is very cute. Very cute alleyway. This is looking more like Old Town vibes. It's looking nice here. Yeah, let's go adventure. Seems to be like a local hangout as well as tourists, isn't it? Nice little, um, not a garden, what would you call it, like a park area? But I'm presuming we're gonna get a nice viewing platform over here. It's actually really nice view up here. And it seems to be brightening up a little bit. But I'm just kind of people watching, looking at the boats going down in the, is it a river? It's connected down to the lake. Yeah, the tram's going past us, yeah, it's a really nice spot. Ah, there's a swan in the river. It's huge. Oh, that's cute. I want to go down there, it looks pretty. how clear it is for a city. Like, it looks so inviting. There's multiple swimming spots around the lake that the public can go in. There's like 
women's only, men's only, like family and mixed. Um, we have our swimmers in my backpack, so that's something we really want to do today. And now the sun's coming out and I've seen how nice this water looks. Um, yeah, I think we're definitely going to do that, aren't we? There's something sneaking up behind you. It's this one. This is really nice. This is lovely. Definitely starting up a bit iffy, first impressions of Shurik, but it's going up and up and up. Look how clear that water is. Very happy, yeah. <laughs> We're both just talking constantly like, whoa, the water is so pretty. Like, it's so clear, you can see all the way down there. I think we're just staying District 1, hey? <laughs> District 1 is where it's at. Very pretty. Okay, we've crossed the river now and we've come to one of the little back streets. This kind of like feels like Old Town again. And we've actually stumbled across a little village festival for young and old. Um, there's lots of food options, there's lots going on, bubbles, stages with music, so we are going to enjoy our time here, have a little wander around, see what we can find, and um, probably eat a lot too. Actually, the all women's bathhouse. Uh, it looks like this nice sheltered, cornered off area. Women only, so we're not going to go there because obviously me and Koi want to go somewhere we can swim together. But it's very central. It's right in uh, District 1, so it's a great place to come if you want to go have a little shop, have some lunch, go for a swim. Now we've noticed while we're walking around that the clock faces are really big and Corey told me that he was actually watching a vlog on Zurich and apparently they're so big because Zurich want to show off how great they are at clock making because Switzerland is famous for their watches and you know their clock faces so apparently that's the reason they're so large it's because they want to show that off that they're known for their watches. like we're very close to the water but they have to be this um, small so they can fit under the bridges which are very low. Well that was really fun actually for a public transport but um, it was really nice. It was really relaxing yeah. and we were on there for like 20 odd minutes and we've come into the main lake now and we have actually crossed so like the opposite side of the river, probably where we're staying and oh my god, there is a dog in the lake fetching ball, that's really cute. <laughs> but over there is like another swimming area, I've actually passed a few, but that one seems to be quite fun, it's got some slides into the water. I guess it's a good one for kids. Well things seem to be turning around in Zurich today, the sun is out and we have found this beautiful nice little restaurant by the lake, it's called Lakeside I think, um, very inventive. Um, but we've ordered some food and some drinks. We're gonna just fill our bellies and then I think we're actually gonna go next door. I have gone for, I think it was a Mediterranean veg soup and some bread to dip in and Corey's gone for his classic fries because no matter where he is, he wants fries. And a sangria. Well, that's our lunchtime snack done and now we are gonna go and find somewhere to go for a swim. And uh, there's a place right next door. It looks awesome and uh, it's still very warm. Okay, so we have just paid eight francs each to come inside here. Now, they do have lockers, but they, we need a change and we don't have any, um, it's not euros here, and I've run out of euros anyway, so that would have been useless, but there's no nearby ATM. So we're just gonna risk it, and we're just gonna leave our stuff near to the edge of the pool and just go for a swim so that we can still see our stuff. But it should be a little bit safer here because people have paid or they've got a, like a annual pass. Oh, there's diving boards here, there's a pontoon. Quite busy actually. Loads of families here. This is a really family friendly spot. There's like a cornered off pool over there, which is great for kids. It looks lovely. And I guess we're gonna go get changed yeah. and find somewhere to sit in the sun. Nice. Woohoo! I think, to be honest, to say that a place like Zurich is known for being so expensive, to pay just eight euros, eight francs to come in here, I think that's a really good deal. 
because you get the lifeguard, much safer for the kids. Activities. And you get like the dive boards and the uh, pontoons. So it's really not a bad deal. Um, so yeah, I think it's well worth it. Eight euros and you get showers, etc., and toilets nearby. Are you ready to get in? I am ready, I am excited. It is amazing what a little bit of sunshine and a sangria can do to one's mood. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we are loving this. It's very summertime in Europe right now. We are going to go for a swim in a lake in Zurich. And uh, the water temperature is 24 degrees apparently. I don't believe it. We've just been enjoying about 15 degrees in the UK. So. Yeah, so this is going to be this lovely. Is a, this is going to be nice. Let's see if it's actually 24 degrees. <laughs> It is very, very clear water. I'm excited to show you what it looks like underneath. Oh, but yeah, it's fresh, but not too fresh. Well, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I've just spent the last, I think, hour jumping, swimming, jumping, swimming. The water's so nice out there, it's so clear. It's so lovely and warm. Um, I think we could just stay in here till sunset. But I think we're gonna go find some food soon. Um, and we definitely wanna see a little bit more of Zurich before we leave. So next to the swimming area that we were is this free kind of swimming area. It's very popular here. It's a Sunday afternoon. So obviously we've got a lot of families here enjoying the afternoon sunshine, there's some people with lilos in the water. Stand up paddle boards. Stand up paddle boards. Yeah, it's very hustling and bustling. We've got a little restaurant up here. Nice, this area is really nice. I don't know, are these little restaurants? It's like too small for a restaurant, this one. It's like a five. Spend time in Zurich is all about being around the lake. Back on the ferry. It's really handy. We're gonna to have to find some food now. Und dann nur gebetet, dass nicht das Unfall passiert. Billet kommt. Entschuldigung. Billet kommt erst nachher. It's good, so they haven't actually checked it on the trams or buses, but on the little boats, they come around and they just scan it when we show our ticket. So it's fine, but it's charging us, ooh, it's charged us zero. So it's 4.40 per travel, but if you travel so many times within 24 hours, it just stops around seven to eight uh, francs. It's, just, it's pretty equal to the euro. So hopefully we'll just get charged that because frankly, 40 per little trip adds up quite a lot. Zurich has done a complete 180 for us today. I think it started off pretty poorly. It was a bit of a bumpy start, but now we can see why it is popular, why it's such a good spot to come and hang out, especially in the summertime. The lake is so beautiful. You have these parks like scattered all around Zurich, so much green spaces, and the lake sitting above 20 degrees is just such a treat for us yeah it's all about the lake for me zurich if you're going to zurich uh see a bit of old town and then just spend your time on the lake yeah so nice such a highlight of the city if you're into sailing or paddle boarding or even swimming just go to one of the local uh, swimming spots um, usually you have to pay entry but you get the facilities with that so it's kind of worth it and you get to jump off all the platforms which i spent the past couple of hours doing so much fun, um, but now we're going to head back into the old town, I think, and uh, see if we can find some food. I 
Okay, we have found a burger place and they do vegan options, so let's go check it out. There you go. Enjoy your $80 dinner. <laughs> So we have gone for two burgers and some cauliflower wings. Now, just the burger by itself was around between 25 to 30 Australian dollars. If you wanted to make that into like a meal, like add chips, add um, chips or salad and add a drink, it was around 40 Australian dollars. Uh, and these are about 18 Australian dollars, were they? So, yeah, Zurich is living up to its name as a very expensive country. Switzerland. Switzerland. Well, they're very yummy, so. <laughs> well, that was lovely. I love finding, like, classical music, like live music, and random little places around the streets in Europe. Like, I found it in Paris and it was just so nice. Ooh, dramatic. Well guys, thank you for coming along with us on our day trip to Zurich. We hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one.